I used to take my football to the ice rink and not much later I told my parents I wanted to skate and to join my sister taking classes. Twice world champion, four times European champion and still with a long career ahead of him. One day Javier Fernandez decided to take the alternative route. The football pitch seems safer than the ice, but it's been the ice which has made him. His colour's white, not just for the ice rink, but also for the club he's supported since he was a kid. Since I was just a kid, all my family supported Madrid, so they were the first team I followed. I began getting to know all the players, I went to see a few matches, and from then onwards I've always been a Real Madrid fan. Figure skating has meant sacrifice. Right now, he only sees his team play in dribs and drabs from Canada. But whenever he finds himself back in Madrid, there's one place he always visits. Whenever I'm in Madrid, I've got loads of things to do, but whenever I get the chance, I go to the Bernabeu. I try to follow the matches they play when I'm in Madrid. It's true I can't go too often, but when I can, I love it. There are some moments which can't be summed up in words, which you have to experience to understand, and which stay as memories for the rest of your life like Javier taking the honorary kickoff at the Santiago Bernabeu. When you see the whole stadium, it's spectacular, especially when you see it from the pitch, with everyone cheering and applauding. The truth is, it's a sensation that gives you goosebumps. It's hard to explain. It's a memory, an experience that I'm never going to forget. Something else that Javier will never forget is the memory of those icons of Real Madrid he grew up idolising. I've always been a huge fan of Raul. Practically for as long as I can remember, until he left the club, I followed Raul. And I also loved watching Roberto Carlos. Roberto Carlos was just a fantastic football player, and I loved to see him play. And another idol of the Bernabeu that Javier grew up watching is Ike Casillas, and they've got something in common. We're related through my grandmother, more or less. I think my grandmother and his grandmother were cousins, or something like that. So we're not really direct family, but we're united by the tiny community of Navalacruz, where almost everybody's either a Casillas or a Fernández. It's a bit like that. Despite his heart belonging to Real Madrid, Javier collaborated with the campaign of another team, Espanyol. The campaign was called Marvelous Minority. With Espanyol, we created the idea of a minority team, along with certain minority sports. Javier Fernández has already chosen his minority sport when he decided to pull on skates instead of football boots at a young age. But he always had a clear goal in mind, to make that minority sport into something much bigger, something almost as big as his other passion, football. It's undoubtedly a harder path, but it's a path you can explore, and that has a certain beauty too.